Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I have some beautiful products to show you from Spellbinders and Jane Davenport. This first stamp set is called Horse Hug, and the second one I have is called Elephant Dream. Don't you just love the elephant's image on this with the cute little ballerina? And these are just two out of a whole set of nine stamps. I'll have all of the products listed below. I'm going to do a bit of watercoloring in this video, and I have a new black ink, and this is VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I've seen a lot of card crafters use this, and I wanted to give it a try. I just love trying out new inks. The paper I'm using is a hot press paper from Arches. The hot press watercolor paper is a nice smooth paper. I'm going to cut this down to size. I'm going to cut out two panels from this, which is five and a half by four and a quarter, the standard size card that I make. I have a lot of little leftover bits from this panel, but I keep these scraps to test my colors on. I thought that these images would go really well with this nice smooth paper because I'm going to color them out with pastel colors. And now to try out this ink. I have this ink in Fallen Leaves, which is a dark chocolate ink, and I love it. So I wanted to try the Black Nocturne. And look at this. You only have to stamp it out once. It's just wonderful. Look at that. I'm going to allow this panel to dry a little bit before I start my painting. I pulled out my Arteza watercolor pencils, and I do keep a swatch sheet. I'll put this on my blog if you're interested. You could have it for free. And I always refer to this whenever I start a new painting. I pulled out all of my watercolor pencils, and now let's get into the coloring. I'm not going to put a lot of pigment down because I do want this a soft pastel coloring. But I'm starting out with the shadows on my elephant. So I have a dark watercolor pencil that I'm using first, and then I go in with a lighter pencil. I'll have all of the colors that I use listed over on my blog. But this was some really fast and fun coloring, and I especially loved coloring in this cute little ballerina. Her little tutu is just too cute. I'm using an Arteza water brush. And I'm just melting out the colors. They just melt into the paper so beautifully. And as you can see, it, it is not a lot of color, but this is kind of what I'm going for. This makes for some very fast and fun coloring. I'm going to be putting down a few layers, and since the paper is wet, I don't want to color over it again with my, my watercolor pencil. So I can just go tip to tip, and I'm just pulling the color off of the tip of the pencils to add more pigment. I'm going to add another layer onto the elephant. I thought that it needed a little more shading. So I come in with a darker watercolor pencil. I'm just pulling it off the tip of the pencil. I could wait for this to dry and color on the paper, but I was too impatient. I just wanted to add the shadows right away. So there are nine stamp sets in this line, and I wanted all of them. They're just all beautiful. They all focus on different animals, and they all have a cute little girl in the set. I'm going to have to go back and get the other ones. But these were my, two of my favorites. I'm putting some very pale colors in the background. This will help his tusks look white. And then I'm putting a little bit of periwinkle blue around the girl and melting that out with my water brush. I pulled out some regular colored pencils just to add even more dimension to my images. And if I had been thinking clearly, I would have just used the same watercolor pencils to add the shading because you can use them just as uh, colored pencils. But I pulled out just regular colored pencils for this. I cut my panel down slightly so that I could mat it with this pink cardstock. And I put a lot of tape runner on it just so it would lay down flat on this paper. And now to stamp my sentiment, I'm going to stamp it up with more of the VersaFine Claire ink. And it just says dream big, and it fit perfectly up in this corner of the card. I'm going to add a little bit more of my colored pencil to my piece. I just don't know when to stop. You could just keep going. But there is a time when you just need to put your pencils away and call it done. But I thought it needed a little more shadows around the elephant's eye. 
I'm going to add a little bit of the peaches and cream too. I don't want it to look like it has makeup on, but I just wanted a little touch of pink on this elephant just to add to the whimsical feel of this piece. I like to have a lot of dimension on my work and the pastel colors were kind of throwing me off. I'm not used to using really pale colors like this, but I really love how it turned out. And now I'm going to adhere it to a white card base. I'm going to use dot liner for this again. Going to attach it upside down so that if I need to trim off any of the card base, I can easily do that at the bottom, which I need to do on this card because there's a little bit of the white card base showing. So I just pull out my long white, long white, my long sharp scissors and give that a quick trim. And nobody will ever know that it's a little bit smaller than an A2 sized card. There we go. I'm going to add a few soft pink sequins or confetti pieces. I like confetti pieces better than sequins because they don't have the hole. And that's all I'm going to do to this card. I had so much fun with this stamp. And I know I'm going to be making a lot more of these. So beautiful. I really like the lettering on this sentiment too. It's just fun. Now let's stamp up the second set. These stamps are acrylic, which means they're a little more stretchy than your photopolymer stamps. So when you stamp them on your paper, you don't want to press too hard. I'm just gently rubbing the door of the mini Misty here because if you press too hard, you're going to smush your image and get a kind of a fuzzy image. But just look at this beautiful horse. I just love how it's drawn. I'm also going to stamp out a bow on the girl's hair. Sorry that my head gets in the way. I just had to look through my acrylic block. I love all the little detail stamps that come in this set. I'm also going to stamp out two stars. And at first I didn't know these stars had little happy faces on them. And I, I'm lucky I stamped it out correctly because I could have done it completely upside down and would have had to have start over. I lucked out there. That's the smaller of the two, and this is the larger one. And I debated stamping one down below the horse, but I decided against that. And now for some more coloring. I'm using more Arteza watercolor pencils, and I'm just putting down a quick layer. I'm trying to keep my coloring and painting kind of pale, just to give it a dreamy quality. This is a different shade of gray I'm using on this horse. And it's, again, it's really handy to have a swatch sheet so you can see the exact color that you're going to be using. For the horse's mane, I'm using a purple iris and a cocoa watercolor pencil. My hand started cramping up on me when I was coloring in these images and I had to remind myself to slow down, enjoy the process, and this will alleviate the cramping. Now I can color in her hair, and I just love coloring in hair, and hers was so pretty. Just using two watercolor pencils for this. I really sped up this process so we wouldn't be here all day. And now to blend it all out with the water brush. And I do come back in with more layers and more tip to tip coloring, just to add more dimension to this piece. So I'm wearing a Band-Aid, if you hadn't noticed, on my left hand, my ring finger. I was chopping up potatoes to make french fries for my kids. And I was trying to be so careful because especially these days, you don't want to be going to the hospital <laughs> unless you absolutely have to. But of course I did the exact opposite and I gave myself a nasty cut. Not bad enough to go to the emergency room, but, but bad enough to make me scream and hop around my kitchen. I made my husband take over cooking dinner after that. But a nasty cut can't keep me from card crafting, as you can see. Now back to the card. I'm adding some periwinkle blue around my images, just to add a soft background around them. And I'm not done with adding dimension, as you'll see. I keep adding to this piece as I go along. This time I'm going to add this to a purple cardstock. And I put down plenty of tape runner just to hold this kind of warped piece in place. And this is where I decide I need to come in with more dimension. But this time I used the actual watercolor pencils to add dimension to the girl's hair. 
and it looks just great with the watercolor pencils. You don't need to switch to regular colored pencils like I did on my first card. This is even better because it's the exact color. And I'm just pressing down a little bit harder in the shadows and building up my colors. I'm adding more purple and brown to the horse's mane, just darkening it up where the girl is sitting on top of the mane. And now I can add this to my white card base, but I'm still not done adding dimension, as you'll see here. I'm using lots of dot liner again, but you could also flatten out your watercolor pieces by running them through your die cutting machine with just the plates. That can help out a lot too. I'm adding some purple confetti pieces to this card. This just gives it a fun touch of sparkle. There were a lot of colors in this little bag of confetti pieces, but I'm just pulling out the purple ones. I'm adding some clear glitter pen over my stars and it will reactivate the watercolor pencil, but that's okay because I just used one color on these stars, but you will need to wipe off your brush after this to clean it off. I thought I was done here, but then I noticed that I needed to color in the horse's eye. I'm just putting a little bit more of blue down for that. And then I noticed that the girl needed more shading on her face, just on the side of her nose. So I'm pulling out my brown sienna watercolor pencil for that. Little touches like this can sure make a big difference. I am definitely going to pick up the other seven stamps in this Whimsical and Wild set. And now I promise that this card is done. And here is a close-up look at it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful week and stay crafty. Bye.